Richard Southern joins us now. Halloween is just around the corner. It's next week, actually. So everyone get their pumpkins prepped to celebrate. But one New York artist is taking pumpkin carving to another level. Erica, they're calling him a pumpkin pumpkin carving expert. And when I show you some of his work, you, I mean, you're going to realize this guy might be the best pumpkin carver you've ever seen. Look at some of this, Erica. Whoa, that's amazing. That's 3D professional designs. Yeah, very pro, very pro. Adam Britton is his name. He's a professional sculptor and pumpkin carver. Believe it or not, he's actually a little. Oh, they're I great. Like that they're, one. Yeah. Isn't that great? They're easy. Actually, a bit allergic to pumpkins, but it doesn't stop him from making some of these crazy creations, which he sells for up to five thousand dollars. He uses a tool similar to a a carrot peeler, and it takes him about three hours to make each one of these creations wow. i mean i could i could only get the you know the square eyes and they were never <laughs> aligned the triangle right. think, you mean right the, the, the triangle eyes you're right <laughs> and i the roasting the seeds is fun that's the best part that for is me. fun i do like pumpkin pie as well but they must preserve it in some way because if, if those are selling for thousands of dollars his creations it'd be sad if they just you know were thrown away after right it's a lot of money to spend for something that's going to rot that's right. in a week or two okay speaking of taking halloween to the next level mexico city really knows how to celebrate Take a look at this. This was their annual zombie parade that happened over the weekend. And people, look at this one, all out, Ooh. Erica. Scary. Scary. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the zombie walk in a downtown Mexico City on Saturday. Zombies of all ages range from the uh, traditional, you know, flesh eaters with the torn clothes, your traditional zombie, uh, <laughs> to more offbeat ones like bear-themed zombies. Uh, for many, this event is an opportunity to spend time with their families and communities. It takes place a week before the Day of the Dead is celebrated mm -hmm. in Mexico. You know, when you talk about Halloween costumes this year, Eric, I was looking at the top Google searches for them. Uh, Barbie tops the list, yeah. Oppenheimer, uh, number two, uh, Spider-Man, and uh, Wednesday Adams. These are your popular costumes. Maybe not so many zombies this All year. All right. So if anyone's thinking, you know, I need a last minute costume, those are good suggestions right there. Yeah. All right. Finally, a man on the run from police uh, appears to have taken to social media to mock them. It's something right out of Batman. He's calling himself the Joker. And you, when you take a look at him here, Erica, you're, you'll be surprised that police haven't caught him yet. This is the most inconspicuous guy, not so inconspicuous guy you've ever seen here. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's been on the run from the uh, OPP. Michael Stamakos is his name, uh, known to frequent the Toronto area. He's wanted for a myriad of crimes, including arson and uh, damage to property. He took to TikTok, you're seeing it here, to mock the OPP. He appeared in front of a, a headline talking uh, about him and his facial tattoos. And people are saying, hey, why haven't the police been able to track him down? Uh, needless to say, if you do see this individual and his facial tats, uh, Give please a dingle, Erica. Right. Uh, I guess, you know, posting on social media is one way to get caught sooner. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're, you're not really hiding if you're on TikTok. No. Maybe I'll put my Batman costume on and see if I can go track him down. All Erica. right. Thanks, Richard. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.